Hey movie fans, my name is Phil Svitek and today I want to give you some quick thoughts on Five Feet Apart. This is a movie that's kind of in line with The Fault in Our Stars and things of that nature, um, but it's very different in, in a sense because unlike most movies that I've seen in this genre, while they could go for the tearjerker and kind of cliche and, and it would work, uh, this movie actually avoids a lot of the cliches. Now, that doesn't mean it won't make you cry and things of that nature, but it manages to do it in a very, I would say, more earned fashion. I really appreciated this movie. Now, um, it's about it's a, it's about uh, kids um, in a hospital with uh, CF, cystic fibrosis, and the struggles that they go through uh, in essentially daily life. Now, what I appreciate is that um, they don't really expand out the world. They're primarily in the hospital and you really get to examine a moment in time. You, you, the, their lives are filled out through how they communicate with each other and share stories, but we're really kind of putting a, a microscope to a specific moment and things like that. And the characters are very well fleshed out. Um, they're fantastic. Haley, Haley Lou Richardson, she, she stars as Stella, um, kind of a, a very OCD type of a person. And, you know, she's been in like Edge of 17 and things like that. And, and she really does a wonderful job as, as one half of the movie. Um, the other one being Cole Spruce. He's from uh, Riverdale and actually even back, uh, way back when he was in Big Daddy. So a long, long journey for him in terms of acting. And both of them, they play very different characters and that obviously clash and strike, strike up a romance and whatnot. And it kind of goes, what I appreciate, it, it goes through the struggles um, because the, the, the title implies uh, they must stay, in the movie they have to stay the safe distance for them to not get each other's germs is six feet apart. And five feet apart, you know, they're kind of um, basically testing the limits, if you will, and what that means. And what I appreciate, while it focuses on them, there's also other characters. Uh, there's a character of Poe who's absolutely fantastic. He, he befriends both of them and he kind of acts as the voice of reason amongst them. And the direction is really well made. Um, you know, the cinematography, the music, there's just a lot that goes into this movie. And now, by no means, I, th there's some criticism out there that it doesn't show all the aspects of CF or it shows kind of a downer one or whatever else. And, you know, I don't think it, I think it tries to tell a very honest story, but it's not all the viewpoints. It is a viewpoint. And the fact that people can now speak about it and, and have open conversations. I think that's a positive thing. Um, it is a romance, so if you're not into romances and and especially if you have kind of an aversion to hospitals, uh, this might not be, there. there's definitely instances where I have to turn away because there's medical procedures and things like that. But all in all, it's a really wonderful movie. I give it like a eight or a nine. Um, so I encourage you to, to definitely see it. And again, while it has a very sad tone overall, it, uh, it actually it is empowering and impactful and avoids all the pitfalls that uh, a typical movie in this genre would. And sometimes it plays with that expectation because you, you know, we've been conditioned to have something happen and you know, about like, I would say 10 minutes before the end, there's something that's happening. And, and the ten tension is really built upon the fact that you're expecting something to happen and it never does. So, or, or it does, but in a different way. Um, that's me kind of being nebulous because I don't want to spoil it for you. So, you know, I encourage you to go see it. I had, I had uh, fun would be not the operative word, but I'm glad I did see it and I learned a lot. And I think the performances are fantastic and a really worthwhile movie done by um, a director who's been working on um, uh, crazy ex-girlfriend. So, um, so I, I, I've not seen that show, but, um, uh, at least thematically it feels, uh, feels similar. Anyway, those are my quick thoughts on five feet apart. Again, I encourage you to go see it. It's, uh, an eight or nine for me. And, uh, let, once you do, let me know your thoughts, uh, what you thought of it and so forth. I would love to 
discuss it in the comment section with you guys. That's the great part about movies is we can have these, these dialogues about it. And for more videos like this, uh, by all means, subscribe to my channel and you'll get more like this. And I also host a, a weekly podcast about how to master mental fortitude for creatives. So if you happen to be a creative yourself, I encourage you to check that out. Um, bye for now. You can also click on more videos.